Hi, I'm Dawn Esterly. I'm from Meadville. For the past 14 years, I've been a home care attendant. For the past four years, I've worked for Ray Ferry, who is here with us today. Before that, I worked with seniors, and the common thread with all of my consumers has been their desire to receive their care in their homes. Ray has been fighting for the rights of his attendants and fellow consumers since 1978 when he was struck by lightning. He is legally blind, wheelchair bound, and unable to verbally communicate. At this time, Ray has a prepared statement he would like for me to read for him. Hello, my name is Ray Ferry and I am a lightning strike survivor. I was struck in 1978, just three months shy of my 13th birthday. After three months in four different hospitals, the doctors had no more hope for me and told my parents I was a quote-unquote vegetable and that they should put me in a nursing home and forget about me. My mom turned to the doctors and told them, get my son ready, we're taking him home. It has been a wild experience that we still take day by day. I can't say, say thank you enough to my mom for going against medical advice and giving me in-home care for 30 years as my primary caregiver. I have had hundreds of secondary attendants over the years. Recently, my primary care has been administered by Dawn. She, like my mom, is always going to be there. The state pays for my care whether I am at home or in a long-term institutional setting. I have an uncooperative body but a very active mind. I know... I know this is directly related to the one-on-one -on -one care I have received at home. It is Ray's choice to live within the community where he gives something back every day by being an independent consumer advocate and speaking for those who don't know how to or can't speak for themselves. Ray is a problem solver. Yeah. He identifies the issue and starts brainstorming to find win-win solutions. The state budget and the Delaware tax loophole is one of those cases. We're talking about huge, wealthy corporations like Walmart, General Electric, Home Depot, Toys R Us, who do not pay state income taxes in Pennsylvania. This is just a small sampling of the companies avoiding taxes in our Commonwealth. At the same time, working families are being forced to make up the differences with services that are being cut. Services we all depend on, like education, health care, and environmental protection, are proposed to be slashed. We don't have all the answers, but we know injustice when we see it, and this is an injustice of epic proportions. <laughs> This affects every single person living in the state of Pennsylvania and we refuse to stand by and let this injustice continue in our state. We're standing up and fighting back and together we will be able to make a change in Pennsylvania for the better. Yeah. Thank you. Dawn and Ray. Now, from PSEA, Kevin Dealey is president of Eastern Area Education Association. Kevin is a high school. Kevin is a high school English teacher and also serves as Eastern Region chairperson. He advocates for children in education. ACE committee in Eastern Region. Please welcome Kevin Dealey. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is a privilege to be here. It is an honor to speak with you. And I am so proud to stand here today in support of our schools, our students, and the men and women who work so hard every day to make our communities great. Yeah. 
we aren't just here for honor and pride. We are here because we have a job to do. Yeah. Yeah. We are here because some of the people who work in this building want to make our students, our workers, and our community sacrifice just so corporations and natural gas drillers don't have to. That is what this is about. We cannot accept a state budget balanced on the backs of students, working families, and property taxpayers. We cannot accept a state budget that only asks for sacrifices from Pennsylvanians who can least afford to make them. We cannot accept a state budget that allows corporations to pay less than their fair share while all of us are asked to pay more. We have a job to do today. Our job is to tell them that and more. I am a teacher. I know what the governor's $1.2 billion in cuts to public education means for teachers, students, and parents. It means programs that work will be eliminated. It means class sizes will increase. It means property taxes will go up. No! But do you know what? What? When I look out at this crowd today, I know that we can stop them. Yeah! We are one! We are one! We are one! We are one! I know we can persuade the people in this building to do what is right. We have a job to do. Let's tell them to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Let's tell them to save our schools. Join with me. Say it with me. Say it loud so all them can hear it. Save our schools. 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 Recognize Rep Representative Gurgley is back here yep. from uh, SCIU 32 BJ Steve Taylor. For 27 years, electrician Steve Taylor has worked hard to keep New Kensington schools safe, and he now he's seeing deep cuts in his school district's budget that are not only hurting him and his co workers but also the students like his daughter who's currently in high school. Please welcome Steve Taylor.